What's going on, Weekend Hangover Nation? I'm your boy, Surf, and I'm back with more in our Undrafted series. Today, I'm looking at the Jacksonville Jaguars and a few of the talent that they signed to try to make their team. We didn't get drafted, obviously, because it's undrafted. <laughs> okay, today I'm talking about Brandon Watson. He's a cornerback out of Michigan. He's 5'11", 198 pounds, another kid from Wilmington, Delaware, which I'm going to put this out there just for everybody here, that we are a fan of Wilmington, Delaware kids here on the Weekend Hangover. His 2018 stats read as follows. 28 solo tackles, three interceptions, two of them went to the house, and seven pass deflections. He only started a single game in his Michigan State uh, in his Michigan career, not Michigan State. I apologize, all you Wolverine fans out there. He's an elite-level special teamer, and he showed that in his last two years of college, which, which you guys know if you've been listening. Um, that's his avenue to making, the, uh, to making an NFL roster, especially as a guy who's – a guy who's limited, but we'll cover that in a second. He's got a compact build with an ability to play press or off coverage, and I think that makes him ideal to play in the slot. He's very feisty at the point of the, point of the catch, and he possesses great anticipation on route breaks. Now, a couple negatives on Mr. Watson, and you can point to that Ohio State game tape. He gave up three touchdowns, and he was picked on from every time he was on the field, honestly. He was absolutely abused, and I I honestly think that's why he didn't get drafted because he was a pretty solid kid. It just he was absolutely abused. He does not he does not possess good makeup speed or deep speed, which would hurt him on the outside. But I again, if I think I think he can make a roster in the slot and as a core special teamer. So good luck, Mr. Watson. I think you got a good chance here. All right, I'm gonna move on to another player named Zedrick Woods. He played safety at Ole Miss. He's 5'11", 205, and ran an incredible 4.2940 at the combine. Fastest at the combine, which hey, he wasn't getting enough talk afterwards. In 2018, his stats read as follows. 42 solo tackles, two interceptions, and two forced fumbles. He was a three-year starter at Ole Miss, and he shines when he plays in the box, either against the run or wind up over the tight end. What I saw with Zedrick Woods was a player that's a short tackler. He he squares up really well, lowers his box, and just and he has the ability to really light somebody up. Considering he's only a 205, he's not an exceptionally big safety, but he can hit. Now, some negatives. He's got tight hips, which, while his 40 time was truly elite, his agile movement, especially on tape, just wasn't there. It just really shows up on sudden change of directions. It almost appears as though the man's on skates. I mean, he's slipping and sliding everywhere. But I, I'll take a dude that's five, that can run a four two nine, or as opposed to a dude that's moving side to side but running a four eight. So I think that he's got pieces that can that he, you can work with. Um, he lacks a natural instinct that shows up on tape, which is weird because he was a three year starter, and it just it really shows up when plays get behind him. Like a, a deep route will develop, and he just doesn't react. He just doesn't react naturally enough. He just he's not there. Okay, so that was Zedrick Woods, and I I think he's got an avenue. I, I don't want to I don't want to bash. I'm not bashing any of these kids. I think you have natural ability. You're running a four two nine, man. You're a track star. Just say, he can go out there and play special teams as a gunner if if that's all that if that's all that takes. I think Zedrick has a chance to make an NFL roster. So all right, guys, this has been a week, another weekend hangover production. I'm your boy Surf. Hit us up with a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll catch you guys later.